Here they come. They're all fan pacing, and there goes Blist out, charging up and right alongside Marshawn. They hit that clubhouse turn, and on the rail, sand sacks around the turn they go, and as they head to the backside, Blist out, moves out, has that lead of one, starts him down the back lane, out roaring right up on the outside, looking for that leader is Marshawn. Sand sacks is their third, coming away, fourth inning in Hanover. Chris, a character, fifth in their sixth, Basil Hanover with Pensonance, the quarter, 26 and 4. They hit that far turn on winging the first time. It's Marshawn now on the lead end by a length and a half. Blissed out his second, a length and a quarter. Into the lane they come. Sand Sacks is third. Now moving along the outside. It's Chris, a character, fourth. Hit on the rail, Finnegan Hanover, fifth. Up on the outside. You've got coming on now, Basil Hanover. What pants and it's the half? 55 and 1. They go slamming in that club, turning her payoff half mile. It's Marshawn out there has a lead a length and a half. Blissed out his second three quarters along the outside. Chris, a character, hung third. And on the rail, Sand Sacks fourth. Now trying the three wider out there goes Basil Hanover. And on the rail, Finnegan Hanover. What pants and it's there at the three quarters. And Marshawn kicks it in high gear in 123 and four. On the turner, homeward bound in the second division of the Miller Lite Cleveland Classic. It's Marshawn out there and now coming to him is Basil Hanover in the lane. They come and out rushing outside. Finnegan Hanover in the top of the stretch and heading them down. It's Marshawn is going to fight to hold it now. Is on the outside comes Basil Hanover and flying Finnegan Hanover. It's Marshawn holding on in 153. What Basil Hanover, Finnegan Hanover, there they are. Parading back to the winner's circle, the as yet unofficial winner of the second division of tonight's Miller Lite Cleveland Classic, number four, Marchand. Clock to 153, what would be his eighth victory of the season? As a son of Western Hanover, owned by J. Paul Redham of Irvine, California, trained by Noel Daly and driven tonight by David Pallone for what would be a triple and is a triple on tonight's card. That result is official trackside. Making the trophy presentation, among others, we have from Tramati Distributing, your local distributor for all the great Miller Brewing products, including Miller Lite, Mr. Jack Tramati, Jr., And I'm again uh, joined by Dave Pallone, who uh, it's been a long, strange trip for you today, Dave, but a profitable one, uh, winning several stakes races at Freehold today and then uh, capping the night with a win behind Marchand here in the second division of the Miller Lite Cleveland Classic. Really had to cut some uh, pretty fast fractions on a cold night and uh, looked like he needed the wire there at the end. He did. I really respected the Canadian horse, and I thought I really have to uh, get off the gate real good. And he's just a big, kind of clumsy type. And we were going 100. Next thing you know, he's in the turn and almost went on his nose. Uh, that, both my Colts tonight really uh, didn't handle the turns too well. Yeah, there you are, very wide on the first turn. Uh, really had to hang on to him to avoid a break in stride there, it looked like. Right. They tried to jinx this Colt as a yearling. His name was Pallone Ranger. They changed it to Marchand. I actually looked at him as a baby. Uh, it's just a big, not the type of horse you'd think would, would do well on a half, but, you know, He's eligible to jug. I'm going to try and talk him into going just, just in case you know what it's like over there if you draw the inside. But uh, he's not exactly poetry in motion around the turns. Definitely. That is odd. They originally named Pallone Ranger as a yearling. Too bad the owner decided to change the name. That would be a heck of a story uh, nonetheless. Well, they named another colt this year, so I've got to go back and look at him. <laughs> hey, here you are coming to the half. Uh, pretty honest. 55-1, uh, and 26-4. and four. Really a fast opening quarter. I mean, you can... Uh, see your breath out here tonight it can't be much above uh, 60 uh, degrees right he really had every excuse to get beat tonight you know basil hanner is a very good horse he was well meant both heats and the adios and you know he got mike got pretty close to me and my horse was softened up but uh late he just dug back in uh, i got to give the horse credit yeah you did open up a little bit here uh going to the three quarters blissed out in the pocket really uh 
kind of stopped. And uh, Basil Hanover made up a lot of ground, but I think he got tired out just uh, breaking into that huge uh, margin you had opened up. Right. Yeah, like I said, I probably drug the guts out of most of them right here, and it was just uh, survival of the fittest. And he did hang on. Actually, uh, Brian Zenskolt raced very good. I'm watching him now. He came from a good spot, Finnegan Hanover. And here in the lane, it looks like he got a little rough gated, kind of as if you did in the, in the first heat with upfront Brad. Right. He was just telling me he'd had enough, and uh, he just dug a little deeper, and uh, I've I got to give the horse credit. Well, we've got to give you a lot of credit as well. Uh, David Pallone hanging on to win the second division of the Miller Lite Cleveland Classic uh, with Marshawn. Congratulations as well to trainer Noel Daly and owner J. Paul Redden uh, out in Irvine, California. Dave, uh, always great having you at Northfield. Looks like we'll be seeing you one way or another at the Little Brown Jug. Boy, I hope so with one of these Colts. Thanks a lot. So, Judge of the Scratch.